Summer is for taking a snow here in central Portugal. Most days are long and hot, and so instead of starting big new projects, we take this time to relax, spend time with the children, and cook some good food. In the garden, we start taking out the plants that have run their course, or those who have succumbed to the heat. And while fall might feel far away at this time, it is also time to start planning and planting for the new season. Yes, I am starting this video with a cake again, <laughs> because life is too short to not eat cake. After drowning in zucchinis or courgettes earlier this summer, I finally decided to try zucchini bread. After trying a few iterations, I landed on this recipe, which is linked in the description box down below. While it is by no means healthy, as the name might suggest, it is a nice way to make a moist cake and use up some of those zucchinis you pick a day or two too late and thus get too big. It is also kid approved in his family, so that counts for something. One thing I like to make when we have an abundance of veggies from the garden is a fresh pizza. 
Even though our current oven is not great for making pizza, it still makes for a great summer meal. I start by making a simple dough from some flour, yeast, salt, olive oil and water. And while that rises, I'll gather some veggies from the garden. By the time all those are prepped, we are ready to assemble. All this is quite a bit of work that could be made easier by getting store-bought sauce or some grated cheese for example, but it's worth it in the end.
Wat moet er nog meer op dan? Papa, boos de bakker. After some comments on my cucumber plants, I realized I was indeed dealing with red spider mites. They're hard to catch on camera because they are quite small, but they're definitely there and they're making my plants miserable. After some reading though, I decided I don't want to use any form of pesticides, also not organic ones, because they are harmful to beneficial insects as well. An internet friend mentioned that they shower their house plants when they're dealing with this pest indoors, so I decided to give that a go. Interestingly enough, this approach did work on my aubergine plants in the garden, but not on these cucumbers in the greenhouse. So for now, I gave up on these plants and we'll try again next year. Here I am making a little pie with fresh gooseberries from my friend's farm. It's my interpretation of a pie my grandmother used to make with canned gooseberries that she brought over from South Africa. Unsurprisingly, because it is quite sweet, this was also a big hit with the kids. Ik wil ook niet aan.
naar de dagelijkse doekjes maar niet mee te maken. And then, as promised, here is my trick for making the best flatbreads. It's actually quite simple. You start with the same type of dough as we just saw for the pizza, but I add some Greek yogurt to the dough. The extra fat from the yogurt makes this a lovely moist dough that you could simply roll out and cook in a hot skillet. And then, depending on how much time I have, I'll make a few different sides with this so that everyone can assemble their bread to their liking. On this day, I made a simple tzatziki, a fresh tomato salsa and some scrambled eggs. Other options are fresh hummus or that roasted aubergine dip I showed you in my previous video. Lekker, lekker. Nee. Het bestaat 
Een dragonfly. Uh, poeh, ik weet ook niet wat het Nederlands heet. Even though it's so quite hot here at the moment, it's also already time to plant some things for the fall garden. I definitely plan on getting some plugs from the local farm shop, but I also plan some things that they don't sell. There are some fall winter staples in here like beets and turnips, and I'm also hoping I can squeeze out another round of green beans and courgettes. Oké, okay, loop maar puk. Kom maar Bo. Ja, vliegtuig. Kom maar. One of my favorite ways to use aubergines is in a simple couscous salad. Um, I'm hoping that here you get the gist of summer cooking and that is simplicity. Summer food does not have to be complicated. You don't have to chop in a million different ways. You don't have to add a thousand exotic 
ingredients. You just have to combine a few strong fresh flavors to make a lovely meal. So for this salad, I just saute the aubergines in some olive oil together with a courgette if I have one. And I serve that over some arugula and couscous with some fresh tomatoes together with some quality feta. Quality is an important word here, as well as olive oil and vinegar. This makes for a lovely summer salad. Give you more than half a year. If I could give you more than half a year, Give you more than half a year. If I could give you more than half a year. And finally, I want to share this vegetable lasagna. On this occasion, I made it with courgettes and mushrooms, but you can also make it more of a ratatouille style with courgettes, aubergine, and peppers, for example. The trick here is to chop your veggies quite small so that they're easy to make into layers. Usually, I like to make this top layer with ricotta or cajo fresco, but they were out of those when we went shopping. So I adapt and I made a more traditional bechamel sauce. Going into a world where we can no longer buy anything we want at all times due to shortages, I really think this is an important skill to have and to cultivate.
Ik het zelf doen. Ja, niet met je mes eten. Met je voet. En dan snij je in ieder geval niet. Lekker bo. Ja, maar mij heeft ook. Over these last few years, I've realized that the garden is a great teacher, not just for practical life skills, but also some deeper life lessons. In this season, the garden teaches us to let go of the things that no longer serve us, the relationships that we have put too much energy into and get nothing back from, be they with plants or humans. There is, of course, some nuance there, because sometimes you can work on things to see if they improve. But sometimes you can also see that things are just going nowhere and you have to let go. This is not always easy, but it will save you lots of misdirected energy in the future. <laughs>